Hello and welcome. My name is Seshu and I'm part of DVCom support on training team. In this video, I'm going to show it to you how to access Sign for Firewall. So we have a brand new firewall and I'm going to show it to you how you are going to access the brand new firewall. You can see here in my lab, we have a NSF 1050A, which is the brand new firewall. And by default in sang there is a OOP port is there, which is the management port, out of band management port. And default IP address is 10.251.251.251, which is slash 24 mask. And the default username is admin and default password is admin. And you can connect your laptop directly to the management port and you can keep your PC into the same network. Then you can open the browser and access your firewall. So right now, let's go and see whether my PC is configured with the same IP address or not. Let's go and do that. So for that, you just open your network settings. And you can see here, these are my LAN settings. Close this. Then you can see here and go to the properties. Then after that, you can just click on TCP IP version 4 and click on the properties. Now you can see here I have configured 10.251.251.10 so which is the same subnet of my firewall. So the first important thing is that you need to keep your PC into the same subnet and you can connect directly on management port. This is the OOB port which is out of band management port. So let's go and cancel this one. Then the second step you just verify the connectivity. Just open the command prompt and this is my command prompt and type the IP address of your sign for firewall which is 10.251.251.251 so I have a successful reach quality. In third step you can open your browser then type the IP address with HTTPS HTTPS colon slash slash 10.251.251.251 Now at the first time your connection is not private so you will get this warning it's okay for that you can just click on advance then click on proceed then it will prompt you to provide the username and password so as I told you earlier the username is admin and the password is admin then you can enter these characters then it's a 2 capital B, 3, capital A. Then you can just put a tick mark. I have read and accept and user license agreement. Then click on login. So once you jump in at first time, you can able to see the nice dashboard and it's going to prompt you for the change the password as well. So just wait for a few seconds that you are going to get that prompt. You can see here. Then I don't want to see this. Okay, it's okay. It's saying that there is a service package update is available. So you just get it done. So I will show it to you how to update the service packs and all. So right now I'm going to close this and I want to change my current password. So the what is my current password which is admin. So I want to give you some complex password. And confirm the password. Then after that you can click on save. So once you save, click on the save, it's going to log out. So just say that close. It's going to log out. Then it will ask you to log in with the new password. So just wait for a few seconds, guys. Nothing to worry. So it's trying to exiting. Yes. Then after that, you can see here the default username. What's your default username is admin. And what is the default password? So default password is admin, but I have changed as a different password, which is a complex password. So let's go and enter that. Then after that, enter the characters, which is showing on your right. So which is capital B two U P. Then click on login. This is what it's showing your first the look of your dashboard. And from here, you can able to get the complete information about your device status and what is the throughput, what's going on exactly. Okay, let's okay, just click on close and it's showing the throughput, 
and all this how many concurrent sessions is there any new sessions if you want to see it all this information you can able to see it so the first very important thing that i want to show it to you right now we are using the version which is 8.0.95 this is the latest version from the sang4 so the first initially when you log in with your device it's always recommends that go to the system and you can change the your system time that's very very important guys so just click on the system time and you can change right now i belongs to dubai so i'm going to change to plus 4 so click on here and you can go to the plus 4 which is asia and dubai then after that ntp server this is very very important guys so right now it's saying that pool.ntp.org which is my public ntp server so once your firewall get the internet connection it's automatically get sync with pool.ntp.org and you can able to get the automatic update for your ntp server you will get the latest date and time that's okay for me click on save then you can see here change the system time requires web server dhcp server ipsec vpn ssl vpn and sang for vpn services to restart and ransomware protection data traffic status data will be cleared would you like to proceed yes go ahead so wait for few seconds thank you so much then again it's going to prompt you to enter your username and password so enter the username admin and password and enter the characters which is showing on your right which is e5 k7 then after that you can click on login there you go so the first initial setup guys is very important go to the system and change your system time that's very very important and also you guys can see here in web ui web user interface and the default port is 443 which is https port so in case if you want to change this port you can change it as well so let's say that i want to change it as a 8443 I want to change it, and my device name is. I always want to specify as DVCom Demo NSF. That's the name I want to keep it. And also, you can see here at initial stage, you saw that login capture. So if you don't want that login capture, you can just disable that. Then after that, you can click on Save. Then you can see here modifying port lead to login failure. And do you like to proceed? Yeah, no problem. Yes. okay then click on close then after that you guys can see here so that you know in case if you want to access your firewall it's very simple i just want to show it to you with the new window go here https colon slash slash and type the default ip address which is 10.2.51.2.51.2.51 colon 8443 that's the you can see here you can able to access your firewall then after that you can enter your username which is admin and enter your password and you can see here i am not able to see that capture so this we can log in so this is what how you are going to change your default device name and default your system name and how you can change your https port so to log out you can see on your right side click on the admin and say log out so i hope this has been informative for the sales please send us an email sales@datawise.com for support please send us an email support@datawise.com by the way guys i forgot to tell you one more interesting thing this jitex it's going to happen in dubai in october 14 to 18 so our dbcom team is available for you to talk about more about sangfor so in case if you want to see any demo or in case if you want to explore more about sangfor products and you please reach out to us in our jitex booth i hope this has been informative and i would like to thank you for viewing